What's up guys? Hey, Jacob here and welcome back to another episode of Worship Wednesday. Woohoo! I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience this last weekend leading worship at a men's conference with big Alaskan men, you know, because we, we just grow up early here, right? So seriously, you guys, it was a lot of fun. We ate maple bacon donuts. There was a massive grill that was given away, and there was some pretty fun games that were played. <laughs> but obviously that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about just the amazing life impacting time that we had in worship and praise and just hearing the incredible messages that were given. So I don't know if you can notice, but my voice is a, a wee bit raspy. Uh, I'm coming off of about five straight days of singing between the men's conference and then four services on Sunday. Uh, I'm feeling, my voice is feeling it now. Woo! So going into the conference, I had a lot of emotions, honestly. This was the first time I had really led worship in a long time. So I was really excited, but at the same time I was nervous. And I think that just kind of comes with the responsibility of leading worship. Because we're not just singing songs, we are actually corporately seeking the face of God. And so there's just a certain weightiness to it. So about a month ago, I met with Heidi, who's the worship director at True North, and she helped me to assemble the man band, or the band of man. We were joking about it backstage. The man band. Now this was key because we have a lot of female vocalists, drummers, bass players, like there's so many women that play on the worship team and it's amazing. But this was a men's conference and so we both had agreed that if the whole band and everybody involved could be men, like that would just be powerful. I believe that men and women relate to God differently, um, kind of like a father relates to his son differently than a father relates to his daughter. There's just a different dynamic and a different relationship there. So that being said, we took that into consideration when choosing the songs because some songs nowadays do tend to be almost romantic. And so for a lot of guys, you know, that sometimes is a little awkward, honestly, singing. A song like Jesus, Lover of My Soul kind of comes to mind. Um, just kind of picture like a six foot five, burly, manly man kind of trying to relate to that song. So for anyone else out there who might be preparing for a men's conference, you know, I would definitely take into consideration like who your audience is and doing your best to kind of match the songs with, you know, who's gonna be there. So here's the list of songs that I chose for the conference. Now there's some common themes to these songs. Solid rock. Firm foundation, mighty, powerful, you know, just kind of emphasizing the strength of who God is. One song in particular that definitely resonated with a lot of people I noticed was Reckless Love. And many of you know that I did a cover of Reckless Love last week on Worship Wednesday, so if you haven't seen it, Go check it out, I break the song down and I play the song as well. I noticed a big response of people just raising their hands in worship and just hearing the voices. It was very powerful. At one point, uh, guys started coming up and just spontaneously without anybody asking them to, coming to the front and just praying and, and getting out down on their knees. It was amazing. <laughs> that I'd recommend if you're ever leading worship at a men's event is to consider the key that you do the songs in. Unless you're a trained vocalist, most dudes can't really hit those tenor notes that a lot of times the song is originally done in, myself included. I kind of consider myself more of a baritone and so I lowered the key to either G or E for most of these songs. It's much easier to sing in and it's in that lower register so it just sounds manlier. 
There were times where the music cut out and it went to just voices and I seriously had goosebumps just hearing all of the guys singing. I made sure even the instrumentalists had microphones so at the very least when we would get to the big choruses everybody would kind of chime in and it would just create this wall of sound like gang vocals. I feel that what this does is like it really encourages the audience to participate as well because there's so many voices they feel more comfortable to sing out themselves. Another thing musically that we did was to beef up the low end and so I had asked Alec the drummer to anytime he could play those toms whether it was a fill or whether it was a rhythm just you know hammer away on those toms. Same thing with the bass player, stay on those low notes and just create this powerful sound. One thing I definitely need to work on is not to over sing because it's easy for me once we're going and we're jamming, like I love to just get into it. And so I start shouting or I start like raising my voice kind of to the point where it starts to hurt a little bit. And then like as the weekend went on, like I could feel it like the more I tried to hit those high notes, the more my voice was starting to go out. So that's definitely an area that I gotta work on. So to recap, it was just an incredible experience. I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I had to be a part of this. It definitely was a team effort. At some point, like once we were in and once we were playing, like we were kind of one cohesive unit. I have a lot of optimism for the future and I'm just really excited about what's gonna come next. All I know is that I just wanna keep using music to praise God. Just pour out our hearts to you, God. You are a good father. Just in your own words, just begin to just glorify God. I believe it was J.S. Bach who said that like the aim and the end of music is to glorify God and to refresh the soul. I'm paraphrasing, but it's something along those lines. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a comment below what your thoughts are. And as I like to say, let's be those who worship in spirit and in truth. I'll see you guys next Wednesday.